Hey guys, hey everyone, good evening, good night, good morning, good afternoon, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. It's your girl Twin D and thank you for stopping by my channel. Thank you for being here guys. Now let's jump straight into your message. This is intentions from your divine masculine. Let's see what their intention is for you, okay? And afterwards, I will be doing those who had paid for the $10 three card intentions reading as well so don't go anywhere after this message all right <laughs> our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen all right, guys, so this is a little bit different. And if you would like to purchase this one, it's on my website. Not the special, but the the way I'm doing it now for a deeper meaning. I will be looking at your person's intention for you that they had in the past, their intention at present moment, and the outcome for you too. So if you would like that reading, it is also on my website for purchase. All right, so let's see what's going on. Divine Masculine, what was your intention for your Divine Feminine? Right? What was your intention in the past? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. The Page of Cups, their intention in the past. So your Divine Masculine intended on making you an offer in the past. They intended on making things balanced with you. Actually, these divine masculines were pretty happy to make you an offer. But something took a turn. Something took a turn. Let's find out what happened here. Why, why weren't you able to make this offer, divine masculine? What happened? Why weren't you able to make this offer or communicate your truth? Oh, Jesus, have mercy on my soul. They had something. <laughs> they had something they had to make up their mind about. Listen, guys, I was, I'm always telling you this. When your divine masculines meet you, or when they met you, whatever, in the past, it was like just you and them. It was only you and them. They couldn't see anybody else. Nobody else was. Thank you very much. The same way you felt is the same way they felt. It was only you and them. And then after they came to their senses, after God said, okay, wake up now. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Time for you to go and, you know, heal yourselves, learn your lessons. Then they realized, shit, I got a family. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, now I got to make a decision. Now I got to make a decision. That's why they couldn't make you an offer in the past. They had to make that decision. The king of coins. Yep, some of them, they were definitely a parent. They were definitely a parent. All right, so let's see what's going on. What can you tell me about your intentions for your Divine Feminines right now at present moment, please? I know, guys, it was only you and them in the past. They couldn't see anybody else because, let me tell you, let me tell you, that love that they were feeling, the same thing you felt too. All right, so you must understand why some of them even forgot. Holy shit, I'm married. Holy shit, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> the four of coins. So their intention at present moment is to hold on to you no matter what the situation looks like. No matter what is happening around them. The four of coins. Yes, because you make them happy, Divine Feminine. Nine of cups. You make them happy. And the star. You help these divine masculines to heal. You give these divine masculines the power to become that emperor. So, yeah. They're not letting you go. 
Well, how do I just clarify? But give me some more information on why you're not letting go off of your divine feminine here. Why that is your intention at present moment, please. Oh, Lee. <laughs> the Queen of Swords. <laughs> and we just saw the King of Swords come out. Well, he's right here. Come, let come. Be with your baby. Be with your baby. You know, see, both of you, your back turn to each other. They know your counterparts. They know you belong together. You complement each other. You're the best person they've ever met in their life. This person that knows them like nobody else does. Your divine masculines, they can feel this energy like you. You're, you're like you're slowly letting go off of the pain. Slowly opening up. They know you're sad. Divine feminines, they know you're sad. They know you may be feeling a sense of regret or whatever. But like they said, it doesn't matter what the situation looks like. They are not letting you go. No way, no how. Not letting you go. Some of these divine masculines even think that you may have somebody else. But they're not going to let you go at all. <sighs> the outcome. The Ace of Wands. A passionate new start. That's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be. So your divine masculine, they're going to be in this energy of love. Because now I've learned to love myself. I've learned to give love. I've learned to give it back to the person that has been giving it to me. Not holding back. So your divine masculine, they're realizing, man, I have... I don't know. They, they can't even put a value on the way that they feel. They're going to work on this situation with you. They're not going to stop. Look in the middle. The Queen of Coins. And we just saw the King of Pentacles. Because they know you're, you're meant to be together. These divine masculines know that you may have shared lifetimes together. That's how they're seeing you. Like somewhat they can't forget you. They cannot forget you. Tell me about this new start as the outcome between you and your Divine Feminines, please. What can you tell me about the outcome? Five of Pentacles. And we already got the Five of Cups. The separation is about to end. You see their outcome? A new start, a new beginning. Some of you guys may be artists. Painters, you draw, 0808, but again, they're moving towards their passion, their desires, they are now on the right path, they see what they want and they're going for it, I see what I want and I'm going for it, closing out that cycle guys, closing out that cycle, this separation is almost over, I love these messages now, I love this, whoever it's for, you know, congratulations, because your person is coming. You have the Eight of Wands. Communication is coming in as well. And this new beginning, new start, is going to happen pretty fast. Pretty fast. Because your Divine Masculines are aligning. And they know where they need to be with their Divine Feminines. And they're coming to offer out their love to you. They're looking for the second chance. And they're not going to give up. And the second chance with you is going to be union. Now they can make that offer that they couldn't make before. Because they cleared out everything else in the past. All right, guys. That has been your message. Short but sweet. But I have some more messages to do for you, ladies and gentlemen out there. All right, let's now go to those who had paid for the $10 three card reading and we're gonna start with Jasmine all right Jasmine let's see what's going on for you Jasmine oh my lord your person's intention for you 
The Four of Wands, Jasmine, awesome. <laughs> There's something that's going to be re um, revealed here or your person is going to be revealing something to you. You're going to be able to see something more clearly. Well, after I see that card, then damn, that that's what, what's more clear than that. Let's see what your intention is. Two of coins. So you're looking for balance in this connection. You're even looking for this family situation as well. You're, you're just looking for this situation to be healed. It's like, when am I going to stop walking? When am I going to done this journey? When are things going to be balanced? When are things going to be put into place like they should be? Well, it's going to happen. Soon. Whenever soon is, I don't know. I don't know. Because your person, intention for you is the four of wands. They want that happy life, that happy home. And here you are wondering when it's going to happen. Don't worry about it too much. It's in the works. It's in the works. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The Hierophant. That's the outcome for you too. So this connection is definitely coming together with the four of swords behind that. This situation will be healed. This connection will be healed. Your Divine Masculine's intention is going to come to pass. The balance you're looking for is going to come to pass. All right, Jasmine. Good reading, Jasmine. All right, Marie. Let's see what's going on for you, Marie. What's your person's intention for you? Your intention for your person and the outcome. So your person's intention oh my lord i'm loving these readings today guys listen i tell you that the readings that i'm doing this union is happening very fast for you guys out there look at that the ten of cups look under the bottom of that the two of cups holy crap marie this person has found their perfect match they know they have found their perfect match and next step is to make you and them a family. Let's see what your intention is, the Queen of Coins. So you're here focused on yourself, focused on your money, focused on evolving, growing. I don't know if you have children or whatever, but it's like I'm getting the sense that you are protecting everything. You're just doing you. You're just focused on you. If you're a mom, and if you own a business, it's like you can balance both. You don't have any issue because you're so focused on God. You're so connected. You're, you're just working on yourself right now. And it's like your spirituality is it's aligning. Everything's aligning. You're focused on what you need to be focused on. The outcome is a page of coins. Oh, and the ace of coins right behind. There's going to be a message that's going to be coming in here, Marie, for you and your person. A message is coming in. One that's going to be solid. So it's like you're not going to have to ask anything. You're not going to have to guess on nothing. This person is going to tell you exactly what they truly need. Whatever the, the conversation is going to be about, it's just going to be clear. It's going to be clear. This is something that has to do with stability here. There could also be some money coming in for, for you as well, Marie. My gosh. I'm loving these readings. All right, Merlinda. Let's see what's going on for you. Okay. Okay. I'm told not to take these. But I'm going to take this one. No. Okay, let's go again. 
Let's go again, Merlinda. Let's go again. Let me make sure. Okay. Okay, now. Let's see your person's intention for you. You got the Four of Cups. So your person has a decision to make, Merlinda. Their intention for you right now is a Four of Cups. It's like they're still keeping their heart closed off because this person has some healing to do. Your person um, needs to heal some wounds that they're working on. This person may have turned their back on you because they may have um, thought that there was something else that was better out there or somebody else or whatever it is. Your person actually misses you. Your person actually misses you. I don't know, maybe your person is even feeling a little bit ill or something. Because it's like, it's like they won't be feeling better until they either see you again or they're in your presence again. This could just be their heart because it's like when you were around them, you made them so, so happy. But they have a decision to make. The past or the future. Which one? Your intention, the night of one. So you want your person to come rushing in here. There's a lot of sexual energy here as well. So you may, you may be very, very passionate about your person, let's say. <laughs> you want this person to be like a father figure for you. Not, not, not father for you, but like a, a, a baby daddy then. Like you, you see a life with this person. Mm -hmm. Yep. This person is gonna. This person may be watching you as well. Trying to get some information on you somehow because they're missing you. This sounds like what I'm getting. It sounds like a, a future thing here. That you're gonna be putting out some, um, like asking people about you or whatever, trying to find you. I, I don't, I can't tell if it's now, but it sounds like it's a future thing. That's what I'm getting. This person may drive you crazy, Melinda. Melinda. Like every time you think about this person, you know, there's a lot of passion there. Let's see the outcome. Six of Wands, Victory, and the Empress. Like I said, you want this person to be the baby daddy. <laughs> oh my God, so there's going to be victory here for you and your person. It's like after a struggle, after a hard period, it's like somebody here has to be fighting enemies behind them. People around them, in their circle. But this person is going to be victorious. And then things are going to start to move or things are going to start to go the way they're supposed to your person is going to be happy again your person is going to be able to move forward and you get your wish you get your wish okay merlinda <laughs> all right esther okay relax cards relax all right, Esther, let's see what's going on for you, your person's intention for you, your intention for your person, and the outcome. All right, let's see your person's intention for you. You have the nine of wands, so your person is caught up in um, a decision here. Your person is caught up in negative thoughts. This person is trying to, like, avoid whether you are a decision that they have to make. Your person know that they have to block something out. Your person is holding on to something here. You have the Queen of Coins. So there could be another party here. 
you know what yeah give me something on this nine of wands please in regards to this person's intention for esther please the king of wands yeah there's something that your person needs to needs to be clear about before they can make you an offer they really need to be making a decision they need to find balance with something they need to find balance with something yeah there's a lot of conflict here your person's avoiding um this connection because they know they have a choice to make they know they have a choice to make here and it's their thoughts their thoughts this person may not feel good enough or whatever but they know they have to let something go so it's like currently this person is blocking you out but it's because they know that they have to see something differently more clearly something or someone could even be you as well oh my gosh all right so you got the world as your um intention for your person and before i shuffled it was the ten of coins so your intention for your person is happiness it's joy it's peace that's what you want from your person that's what you want from your person mm-hmm I, listen, man, there, Esther, there may be somebody else involved here. A mother figure. There may be a mother figure. Somebody. Maybe a businesswoman or something. But somebody else is involved here somehow. I don't know how. But I'm just getting somebody else is involved and this person needs to make a decision. I don't know what the decision is about. But that's what's going on with your person. That's why they're blocking you out. Give me one more on, on um, this person's intention, please. Wow. See? It knows where to go. The moon. Hiding something. See that? Your person stressed the F out. Nine of Swords. Two of swords. Yeah, they got to take that veil off. The person needs to see something more clearly. And you got the queen of wands. There is a choice your person has to make. A decision. Let's see the outcome for you too. Seven of swords. And what do you know? Listen, um, Esther. When, I, when, I, when the cards fell out before. And I was saying, you know, wait, I wasn't ready. This was a card that I was told to take. And I put it back because I wasn't ready I should have just followed what I heard and here it is again as the overall intention the seven of swords so there is something here that's not the way that it it seems it's not the way that it seems your person has to be has to leave something behind your person has to walk away from some sort of deception Something is going to be revealed here. Something is going to be revealed. I'm getting it may be revealed to your person. Like some kind of epiphany thing. And then it's going to be like, yeah, I know what to do. But the outcome with the Seven of Swords, it's like, huh, look, I split it again. There's your Ten of Coins that was showing up before. Somebody here is just going to take what it is that they are receiving and they're going to make the best of it because they're going to realize that the way that things seem right now, it's just an illusion. Give me something on this, Seven of Swords, please. For Esther and her person's outcome. What do you know? The Nine of Wands. Now it's in the reverse. Now it's in the reverse. Like I said, like I said. When they get out of this negative situation, then they'll be able to move towards what they're truly passionate about. Yeah, your person is going to have to go through a, a rebirth here. Your person needs to change. There is something they need to leave behind if they want to have this. Could be leaving a family situation behind so that they could have your happiness, however it is. 
but anyways guys thank you so so much for those of you who are participating in these readings thank you so much guys and if you pay tonight you will get your reading on thursday at the next premiere at 8 30 p.m eastern standard time all right guys love you all take care of yourselves let go and let god and i'll see you in tomorrow's later love you all